Sven, uh, great to see you again. It's been a long while. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, uh, I think the last time we saw each other was several years ago at one of the uh, uh, UK diving events. Yeah, was it, was it UK or was it Dima? Were you? It it, it 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 seems too long ago at this point. So <laughs> it's been it's been at least two years. Uh, yeah. so. That's We're ready to come out of this, uh, out of this, and into into the, the the sunshine of spring. Oh yeah, same here, most definitely. Where whereabouts are you based? Uh, our business is on the east coast of the United States, sort of in the Mid Atlantic region in New Jersey. We're about uh, uh, forty miles uh, from the ocean and uh, in the shadows of the city of Philadelphia. Sounds sounds nice. The the I'm just looking at actually at your site, um, Sea Life Underwater mm -hmm. Cameras. It's such an um, uh, amazing array of stuff. Can you tell us a bit about the company and, and what it does? So we we started the business. First of all, our business is a family business, and I'll explain uh, that in 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 a, in a little while. But we started the business under the. Uh, a uh, whole premise of getting the user in the water to capture their memories. And this was uh, over 25 years ago, back in the film days. And we had basically one product uh, that um, allowed a uh, uh, simple one button operation of, of underwater uh, life. And um, uh, the, the inner camera was a simple um, uh, 35 millimeter point and shoot. Uh, the first ones were not even autofocus; uh, they were fixed focus and uh, and a durable uh, rubber clad housing on the outside. And um, uh, the rest you could really say is history because that was other than Nikonos at the time, uh, and maybe the Minolta Weathermatic. I don't know if you remember those little 110 format, uh, yellow, uh, 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 rectangular shaped cameras. There really were no other waterproof cameras. So, uh, or, or even submersible cameras. And, uh, um, so our idea was it's a bit more than let's say a, a weathermatic type of, uh, a camera. And, and it's not a professional series type of camera as, uh, as, uh, the Nikonos. So we wanted to hit the sweet spot of the, the diver that simply wanted to record their dives and wanted to bring back some nice memories. And, uh, and, and that was the first model. It was called the Reef Master. Uh, we still use that name on some cameras today. And uh, from there, we developed and evolutionized uh, uh, the cameras uh, generation after generation. The great cameras. Um, I mean, I've reviewed a few for you, and 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 I think they're super cameras. And and particularly, I mean, it's it's not actually the camera; it's the housing also that you developed for the mm -hmm. iPhone. I mean, that is yeah. just that's just wonderful. It's it's so easy to use. It's it's functional. Yeah. It's it's reliable. Um, I love it. That's a great thing. Do, do you get to sell many of those? Do, are people taking it up? Uh, we've had tremendous success. Basically, I brought some samples. Um, here's one here that we can let the, uh, let the viewers see, but you can see online all the videos of setting it up and loading it. Uh, it uh, go to YouTube or our own website. Um, basically, what we did here is worked in everything that we knew about making housings from the past uh, 20 or so generations of uh, camera housings or camera bodies. And um, we really saw the category uh, as something that was up and coming and it was, it, and it was rolling pretty fast. When you take a look at a, for example, a Samsung S22 or a, Apple iPhone uh, 13 Pro Max, in and of themselves, these are great cameras. Um, even if you were to uh, take off the communications feature, 
you'd have a pretty darn good camera that probably about a third of the value comes in at the, uh, at the camera level. And uh, we saw that and we see that, we see that progressing every day. The cameras keep on getting better. So it was a good time for us to step in and uh, um, success has been, been there. Um, um, you just need to look at the, the, the sheer numbers of smartphones that have a registered calling plan. That's not to mention all the smartphones that are either used and that are no longer have uh, a, a cellular service. But when you're talking three and a half, four billion phones out there that are registered with calling plans, it just tells you, wow, uh, that is a market. And uh, it's, more, it's more than half the world's population. Uh, and the technology, the image capture technology on these phones keeps getting better and better. It does, absolutely. I mean, um, I'm not right up to date on the phones. I just can't mm -hmm. bring myself to spend all that money on a new, uh, a new phone. But the ones I have, as you're saying, the quality is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. And there's always been a, a, a slight issue of, do I want to put my prize phone camera in a housing underwater? But I mean, I, it, the housing you produce is just fantastic. It is so reliable. It's brilliant. Well, you know, there are, that's, that's, a, that's a valid concern. So uh, just to address that particular concern, most of the phones that are being produced nowadays have some level of IPX waterproofing anyway. So uh, to what level they're waterproof and for how long a time, those are the IPX uh, uh, levels. You can simply Google those and, and, and read all about that. But unless it's a massive leak, uh, even a trickle leak will not really harm the phone. Now, I'm not saying that, that you should get used to trickle leaks from our housing, but just to put your mind at ease, uh, uh, there's not going to be any leakage problems or anything that one could happen or two could damage your phone. Secondly, um, we, uh, along with some other manufacturers, and this, by the way, also applies to those big DSLR housings that you see, have a waterproofing system that uses not only um, uh, vacuum pressure, so in other words, like a cabin pressure that immediately alerts you when there's a pressure change inside the housing. But we also have moisture detection. So there's a moisture detection pad at the bottom of the housing that will tell you immediately if uh, uh, any drop of water or moisture has intruded into the housing. So. With those two things, um, um, it, it's, it assures uh, a nice bone dry interior. Um, although I have to say, many people don't even like the safety features. It's uh, because you, you, have to, you have to set it up. So uh, we're uh, developing more and more ways to unarm the safety features because people want to get right down to it, you know, and, uh, and there's a, for instance, there's a three minute wait period, um, uh, uh, to pressurize the housing. Um, you can override that. If you feel you don't want to do that, uh, and not test the integrity of the waterproof seal, you could just push a button and you can go in the water right away. So, uh, so actually, to answer your question in a long way, um, people are more concerned about getting into the water faster than they are about the safety of their phone. So uh, we still have your phone in mind. So so no worries there, folks. So <laughs> yeah, but that's 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 the general uh, response that we're seeing. And now we've uh, we've sold many many thousands of these. We've gotten a lot of good feedback. Um, we've also, uh, uh, seen during our time of doing this for the last year and a half, uh, we've seen a number of new phones come to market that have really, really, uh, opened up our eyes about what you can capture with the phone. So we can share some of those, uh, so those images and videos later, just to give the users out there some 
uh, divers out there some idea of what you can do with this. I mean, on, the, uh, on that, just looking at, at your um, website, uh, you've got some great tutorial videos for, for all of your products. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's a great thing to do because so often it's, it's, you're looking for third-party reviews on, uh, on the web somewhere, somebody's opinion on Facebook. But uh, to have these videos on your website, that's fantastic. You, you almost have to do it uh, um, because, look, uh, when was the last time you had a problem plugging a cable in or fixing a, something on your washing machine or something? What do you do? You go to YouTube and you see, how do I fix this? And uh, the, our users are doing the same thing. Our, uh, our customers are doing exactly that. They're going to uh, platforms that have videos that show you how to do this. So we have to do this, and uh, uh, it, especially with the, the the sport diver phone housing setup, it really helps guide people along into doing the proper setup and uh, having the best experience from 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 the uh, housing. Yeah, they they are good. Yeah. Over over the last, I forget how many years, um, you've very kindly um helped us out with judging um our annual video winner which is great thank you for doing that uh, yeah. but, but do you dive yourself do you dive yes i do you do yeah. yeah i'm not uh uh as active as i'd like to be but i think that goes for many of us uh um uh i and i'm still a relatively new diver i've been uh certified for five or six years so uh uh, but I get underwater uh, several times per year and I get to use all of our products and, um, and that's what makes it very enjoyable. And I've had uh, uh, the, 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 basically everything that you can imagine in all conditions with, with our um, cameras, housings, and also lights. So being a diver and using the, the, mm -hmm. the, the equipment yourself, do you have um a say in in the development of new products uh, or do you have a team that concentrate on that and they, and they like to remain in their own little shell um actually that's a that's a that's a great question and leads me back to the beginning um we we're family business uh my brother father and i um run the business together uh, my father, uh, our father, is retired at this point, uh, uh, active only in a, uh, in a diving and uh, an input sense. Uh, my brother is, uh, Bjorn, is uh, our head development and uh, engineering guy. Uh, and uh, we also work in-house with uh, several other engineers. Uh, all of which are divers. So uh, the start for the products really, I would say, start with the market where we get the, the needed input. Um, and that gets the ideation going between Bjorn and I and our engineering team that then... Uh, first starts on a solution type of product. In other words, our company story has been to make um, the experience easier and to make it less complicated. So you'll see that in all of our designs, um, we work that aspect in. Um, so less buttons, less switches. And uh, so basically allowing you to enjoy the experience that you're in. And uh, that has worked for us. Um, we are not a um, off-shelf company in any way. Everything that you see from our brand, we sell about 100 items now, uh, has been entirely developed uh, and tooled by us. So it's not that we're importing some, some diving product and pasting our name on it. 
that wouldn't be possible be because it wouldn't have the um, experience ingredients that we would want in, in those products. Um, case in point, we have a light. This is one of our 2,500 lumen light heads. It has one button. And we did that on purpose. Now, somebody could say, well, you put more buttons, you could put more features. Um, yes and no, but we don't necessarily always want more features. Uh, or we think we can control the features easily with just one thumb print of an operation. And, uh, um, and notice also we make the switches big. So you can't not see them or feel them uh, when you need to. So uh, that's really what uh, on the development and design side, that's, that's, that's the start right there. Do you, do you get very much customer feedback? And, and you were saying, or at least you were hinting, you, you then take that into consideration when developing new products. But um, mm -hmm. do you ever get customer feedback that brings up something you hadn't thought of and you go, wow, why didn't we think of that? And then, uh, and then instigate it? Yeah, no question. Yeah. No, no, no question, especially now that we're in the space of, uh, of mobile phones. Um, of course, so many phones have so many different features and to try to bring those features out uh, into a common experience with the sport diver uh, is, is a bit of a challenge, but we're able to do it. Uh, so we get a lot of feedback there. Um, we get quite a bit of feedback in terms of camera developments. Um, lately, it's also been um, lens features that, that, that uh, people would like to see. And that's understandable because lenses underwater can, uh, can really um, pinpoint what the user wants the, 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 the viewer of their images to see and, and, and uh, come in on that. Right. And also enhance the camera's features. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't happen to have uh, an example of your, of your newest camera and light, would you, at hand? Yeah. Ah, excellent. Can you so, show it to us? Tell us absolutely. a little bit about it. So um, we've got the, the Micro 3 course, and I can show you how all the parts and pieces fit together. Unfortunately, we just developed a new dome lens, and I don't have one of those here. Um, but a dome lens is kind of a dome lens. So uh, uh, we do uh, have a dome lens available for this one. And this one was one that uh, this camera has a focusing distance of about 15 uh, inches, which, uh, you know, just short of 40 centimeters. So it required a lens and uh, the lens allows much closer focusing with about 50% of uh, a wider uh, shooting angle. And uh, that, uh, that lens combination with this really changes the performance of the camera. So in many cases, the lens accessory really makes the camera. Uh, not to say that this camera is not a great camera without a lens, but uh, adding uh, the new wide angle micro dome lens to this micro 3.0 is really, it, it makes it a really, really super combination. And by the way, um, the whole package is under around a thousand dollars, definitely under a thousand pounds for a package that you can really capture for 4k video, uh, uh, beautiful high res raw images. Uh, um, so it's, it really gives the user a lot of opportunities. So, is, is that, tell me, is that the, um, is that a camera in itself or is there a camera inside a housing there? Oh, no. 
And so this is the third generation of the micro series cameras. It's completely sealed. Uh, so, and that's one of our uh, input ingredients that we wanted to make things easier for, for, for the users. Uh, uh, they don't need to waterproof a housing. They don't need to change O-rings. They don't need to clean O-rings. All they need to do is wash the camera with fresh water, and that's really all they need to do to it. Perfect. And and your latest light, because I do like your lights. I think that I think they're very um, <laughs> very the, user friendly. the The lighting business has been um, great for us. Uh, we we treat the the lights. Uh, uh, the Sea Dragon lights by Sea Life, the same way that we do our cameras in in their development, and that is to make things as easy uh, and understandable as possible. You shouldn't need a manual for one of these lights. Uh, we do include those, of course. Uh, in terms of function, you just turn the button on, and it's a one button operation. You have a rotational cycle that hits all the features, yeah. sorry. That's uh, um, and in terms of intuitive features, we also, the, this 5000, for instance, has red LEDs on it. And um, since many users will be using this at night, you go from red to the full 5000 wide beam, just like that, so you can, you can be stealthy with this and sneak up on those uh, critters that don't like white lights. This particular light also has a flash detection system so that if you do want to approach with the red LEDs, you can pop your strobe, the light goes off for a split second and uh, you won't get any shadows or anything. So it works very well with strobes as well. Um, another angle that we're going after is not just to supply lights for our cameras. Uh, we realize the market is much bigger than that. And there's a real need for dive lighting out there from a company that can support it. We see it as a tremendous opportunity for ourselves because so many of the light brands out there don't have the support. Uh, it's basically a mail order product that, well, best of luck. If you have a problem, best of luck. So uh, we're able to support all these. We're able to make any kind of repairs or maintenance for customers should they need that. And uh, we've got several new lights coming. We've actually got a new 5000 plus coming uh, that, uh, that we plan to launch at the DEMA show later this year. Um, and we've got a few other new uh, lights coming as well for both on the diving side and, and on the imaging side. Uh, I do, just looking at you showing the light, I, I do remember the first lights that I used in underwater filming. Mm -hmm. And basically when I started, it had to be homemade. Mm -hmm. so, so it was car headlights with cable coming out the back with silicon on it. And then that went to a backpack on, on my twin set that had uh, fire alarm batteries in it. <laughs> and, you know, it was just bulky and heavy. And uh, I mean, they work to a degree. But now when I look at lights, I mean, they're mm -hmm. so sophisticated and so yeah. easy to use. It's, it's lovely. And with your lights and cameras, I do like the handle connections yeah onto the base plate i mean that is so adaptable yeah so everything comes apart. i'll do this in a here's a 2500 here's a grip now what did that take about two and a half seconds uh 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 adding putting the camera on top of maybe take another uh, five seconds for the little quarter 20. So we did not want to put our customers in a position where they need to spend an hour 
to get their camera system ready. It's simply not necessary. Uh, get yourself ready and have an enjoyable dive. This component of it we can do for you uh, within five minutes and you can be ready. All you need to do is charge them up. And uh, the great thing about these lights also is really, of course, you have a degree in waterproofing, uh, I'm sure. Uh, but really, the technology has moved into this because of the storage of power. Uh, let's face it, you know, technology has made so many improvements in lithium ion battery cells that allow you to store more power uh, um, for a longer period of time or longer period of usage time. So what we do is we have a simple uh, um, battery well here and the battery goes in, it gets sealed, it's all self-contained. Um, the, the battery chamber itself is waterproof. So of course, be careful not to get any seawater in there, but should that happen, uh, the front part of the light head is protected. And we can clean it and restore it should it leak. They all come with several sets of O-rings. So if you need to change them, it's easy to do. So, and by the way, all of our lights are also have uh, all of our uh, batteries are tested and certified. Our chargers are tested and certified. Uh, our, um, all of our lights have a, a pressure release valve. So should the battery malfunction and overheat, it's not going to, uh, cannot explode or anything like that. It will simply release the valve and, uh, and gas off. Uh, it's never happened, but we are, we're big into safety. Um, um, and, and back to the batteries, all the batteries are name brand cells that are safety circuited. So that's very important to us, especially with these more powerful um, uh, batteries and lights. Excellent. Sven, um, thank you again for uh, taking time to, to, to chat with us. It's been brilliant to catch up with you again. Thank you. And just one thought before you go. Um, I got to hear from you first or about you first through Scuba Pro. Uh, yes. Are they your main outlet? Um, what's the relationship with Scuba Pro? So uh, uh, Scuba Pro is our uh, UK and Ireland and, uh, and Europe sa sales distributor. So they have uh, a service and distribution for the entire region. And uh, our distribution in the UK runs through Scuba Pro's uh, network of dealerships. So you could see any Sea Life camera, any Sea Dragon light, any Flex Connect mounting accessory, or seek service at any one of the Scuba Pro dive centers throughout the UK. Ah, brilliant. Yeah, it clears that up. Thank you. Yeah. So. Well, once again, thank you um, for taking time to do this. And uh, I think we'll call it there. Sounds good. Sounds good, uh, uh, Jeff. Thank you so much, um, and uh, like to like to come back uh, uh, sometime soon. Excellent. All right. Well, you take care now. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.